guys, so I apologize again for having yet another day this week where I didn't get a review up, so maybe I'll do today, do two today, maybe I'll just do the one, I don't know, we'll see how today plays out, but yeah, if you saw last night's vlog, which I think I didn't hit publish on until this morning, whoops, um, yeah, I was not in such a great way last night, so I'm just gonna leave it at that, so I'm gonna do the review I was gonna do yesterday, today. Well, actually, it's technically not the one I was going to do yesterday originally, but it's the same brand, so I figured since it's first thing in the morning, why not wake up with some orange juice? My lip fest. That did not work out as well as I hoped, I'm sorry. So anyway, yeah, this is what we're going to review today. Originally, if anyone was curious, I was going to review this one. This will be another time, don't you guys worry. All my lip cysts are eventually going to be reviewed. I don't know how long it'll take me, but eventually, eventually, they'll all be reviewed. So, um, this one, as I already stated, is called Orange Juice. It has a little graphic of some orange juice with an orange slice on the cup. It's pretty cute. Um, it's a stick format, obviously. Packaging. It's got an orange cap, which would be weird if it were any other color than orange, I guess. Uh, but yeah. Just standard lip cest packaging. Um, these are all natural and organic. The ingredients are beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, avocado oil, olive oil, canola oil, vitamin E, and flavor oils. In, key, in case anybody was keeping track or missed out on previous ones, it is part of a set. It's part of the breakfast collection set that she did not too long ago. This is one of the newer sets. I believe this one is still available. So just saying. It is $3 on its own, or how many were in that set? I forget if there was four or five, but if there was four, it's like 12. If there was five, it's 15. So, yeah, I'm really bad at this. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. But obviously, add a little tax, or not tax, um, shipping onto that. My brain does not work. Uh, but yeah, so amount of product is 0.15 ounces, shelf life is a year or two, we're gonna find out pretty soon, I'm pretty sure, if it's a year or two, since some of my oldest lip zests are coming up on a year pretty soon, but so far, knock wood, they seem to be okay so far, so maybe it's closer to two. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So anyways, um, sturdiness-wise, no wiggly turn wheel, fabulous. Uh, cap leaves a little to be desired. It's not Kayla's fault because she doesn't make the packages themselves. She gets the caps and the tubes separately so she can color code them to the flavors. I mean, some of them fit better than others. It's not her fault, but I mean, we know how petty I am when it comes to my reviews. So, I mean, it's nothing against her, but I mean, the cap, I am going to be honest that it doesn't stay on the best. It comes off pretty darn easy, so... Just be warned, if you're putting it in a purse, you might want to put it in a little lipstick case or in a makeup bag inside your purse. Just saying. Just for extra protection. Otherwise, you'll probably be fine. Um, anyway. No special features like SPF for medication, so let us talk about the scent. It's a light orange. I was actually expecting it to be stronger than this, but, um... It does legit smell like orange juice. Straight up. And you know what else it smells like? Who remembers the Rachel Roy collection from EOS? The, um... Oh, what flavor was it? The orange one. I can't remember the name of it because I'm apparently brain dead today. But whatever the orange one was, this smells just like that. Like, identical to it. So just throwing that out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And, yeah, we're gonna see how it is. He's pretty thin, and I have, like, a chappy spot right here, so. I know, with my lip balm collection, how the hell do I wrap chap lips? I know. I know. Um. It's pretty thin, but that's okay. Um. But that being said, if you do have badly chap lips, 
it may not be the greatest one for you because you're still gonna feel the chaps sticking up through it so that it's just worth noting it's just worth noting I personally like mine to be a little thicker but it is what it is um Oh yeah, I forgot to check and see if it's strong enough that I put it on. No, okay. Sometimes it makes a difference, sometimes it doesn't, so it's always good to check. Um, it's super shiny though, as you can see, that's from all the oils in it. Sparkly, sparkly. Um, but yeah, it's like a really greasy one. Some lip zest are, some aren't, it just, it depends I think on the exact proportions of things that go into each one. I think it varies very slightly from each flavor flavor to flavor, and while it doesn't sound like much, it only takes a little bit of difference to completely change like the consistency of a thing, so that's why some of them are thinner and other ones are thicker. So, you know, that's a thing. But, um... But it's otherwise pretty good. It doesn't feel bad or anything. It's just something I wish were a little bit thicker is all. But, um... Does it feel like it'll moisturize? I think so. I think so. That is, if you can leave it on long enough for it to do it. Uh, if you eat or drink anything, this one, I don't know. It feels so thin, it might come right off. I'm gonna find out. Stay there. Yeah, okay. I was right, and it comes off with with drinking, so drink test, it failed, but um, I don't know, am I going to give this one the wow factor? Oh, that's what's behind me, my receipts from Bath & Body Works that I dug out of the box when I was doing uh, the haul the other day, I forgot that they were back there still, I hit it with my phone, I was like, what the hell is it? Oh, that's what's back there. Uh, anyway, I'll toss those as soon as I'm done recording this, but... I don't know, I'm on the fence about whether or not to give it the wow factor, because it's very spot on to what it's supposed to smell like, but it's really faint. So I'm like, if it were more vibrant of a scent for this, because orange juice, that's a pretty distinct smell that's honestly generally a strong scent, just throwing that out there. Um, I think I would have given it the wow factor if it were stronger, but because it's so faint, I'm gonna have to say no on this one. I mean, that's not to say that I don't like it, because I really do like how this smells. I just wish it were stronger and that it were thicker were, are my two main issues here. But point by point, to figure out what I will rate this, let us see. Um, I already mentioned the thing about the cap, so that's point number one. The faint scent is number two. The lack of thickness is number three. Failed the drink test. And it. Okay, so I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. It's not bad, mind you. Not bad. But I just, I don't know. Even if just the scent were stronger, I feel like that would have bumped it up two more points for me. Right there. Um, so take it with great assault for what it's worth. But... I am, just to be fair, gonna give it a 5 out of 10, which is not the greatest, but I mean, not the worst either. Could have been a lot worse, I mean, at least it's not a repeat of the taco one, just saying. Uh, I know, some people really liked that one, but I thought it smelled like pencil shavings, just saying, but anyway, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, 5 out of 10, take it or leave it. It, it's one of those where I'm like, it's negligible. If you're on a budget and you can only get certain lip zests, I would say it's probably a skippable one, unless you, like, are absolutely freaking in love with orange juice scents, in which case, by all means, get it. But, um, otherwise, if you're like me and you just collect all of them, get it. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's kind of just... It's okay. It's not bad. It just could be stronger, could be thicker. There's room for improvements. I feel like if she reworked the formula a teeny little bit in this one, all it would take is a little tiny bit, just a little bit more thickness and a little bit more scent, it'd be perfect. But, yeah, it wouldn't take a lot to just drastically improve this one. I'm just throwing that out there as constructive criticism, not as shade, not as hate by any means, because you all know I adore Kayla, I adore Lipsest. 
no shade intended. I just throw out constructive criticism where I see it so that she can improve future flavors, you know? So anyways, that is all I have to say for this one. So as usual, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Any of you guys have this one, what were your thoughts? Let me know. As well as anything else if you like leaving me. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye.